Are we really going to change? A person who says, I will change inshallah tomorrow, will not change. But a person who says, when I leave this hall, I'm not going to take down my hijab. That's it, subhanallah. Then you are talking business. When I leave this hall, no salah is ever going to be missed after this. When I leave this hall, I'm going to, I'm making sure I will enroll myself for this course and that, lex that lesson and this course and perhaps these lectures that are taking place and I will learn from this book. I will attend the, the explanation of this tafsir in my masjid and I will do this and that and I'm making sure. So the resolutions come here and now they don't come once you exit. Can I tell you why? The ambience of this hall is totally different. The spirituality in this hall is beautiful. Do you know the hadith says whenever people have gathered together to remember Allah and remind each other of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the mercy of Allah descends upon them. The angels surround them. They make dua for them. Mercy descends upon them. And so much of goodness is coming from there that Allah makes mention of them in the heavens. Subhanallah. Allah is speaking about you and I right now with our names to the malaika, to the angels. So there's a different spirituality. If you want to make resolutions, you make them now. Subhanallah. Oh Allah, I will never miss a salah from now. From now. From this particular moment. I will never be lazy to fulfill my wudu. I will not be lazy to read a portion of the Quran every single day. If you die one day and you've been used to reading a portion of the Quran every single day, you will have died on a day when you would have read a beautiful portion of the Quran. So you know your deeds are written and recorded and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will write it for you. Obviously that the day this person died, they had said Astaghfirullah so many times. Like I said yesterday, they had, for example, read the Quran, a portion of it. They tried to understand it. They shed a tear. A tear of what? A tear of regret over sins and a tear of love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That will come handy. Definitely. It will help you. It will definitely help you earn Jannah and be protected from hellfire. Those eyes that have cried for the sake of Allah will be protected from being burnt in hellfire by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But today people cry. Cry over what? I don't even want to say 14th of February. So many tears. Astaghfirullah. So many tears. Why? I didn't get flowers. I didn't get flowers. Astaghfirullah. And you know, the other type of tears that come on that day, where you do get flowers and you ask your husband, where did you get them from? Come on. Where did you get them from? So there's a, there's a problem. And this is why Islam says love is actually spread throughout the year. It's not just one day. Because there is a problem. Wallahi, I've known of marriages that have broken. I know I've known of marriages that have broken, not because there were no flowers that came on the on, on the 14th of February, but because of the doubt and suspicion in the heart of the spouse as to where the spouse brought the flowers to be given to me. Where did they come from? Who gave you? I want to know now. I bought them from a shop. I need the receipt. Subhanallah. And then no ways. I know you've got something going and I know you just, these are hand downs, you know, mashallah with us and with me too, up to this time, you know, we have these thiab and these clothes, mashallah, hand downs, you know, either we get them from somewhere or they are given from us to someone else, you know, lower down in the family. It being raised, forget about the 14th of Feb. It has absolutely no value in the Islamic calendar. What I need to know, the love that I have with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is what I need to declare today. Put up your hands if you love Allah. MashaAllah, put your hands down. Not a single one without the hands up. Subhanallah. But now put up your hands. If you have not missed a single salah in the last 10 years, put your hands up. Allahu Akbar. Now put your hands up. If you're going to make sure you're not going to miss a, a salah again, put your hands up. Okay. Okay. I, we need to take a photograph of these hands. Subhanallah. <laughs> I tell you why, subhanallah, obviously not a photograph as in a digital photograph, but we need to bear in mind that we put our hands up. The angels are bearing witness that we made a promise to say, I'm not going to miss a salah from today.